My name is Alan Hackler, and I'm the owner of Bay Maples Wild California Gardens, based in San Jose, California, specializing in low water use gardens, finding the most sustainable way to achieve a beautiful and functional garden, utilizing native and edible plants to combine my interest in finding solutions for environmental problems with my interest in plants, uh, construction, and art. And I get to work outside every day. <laughs> Shortly after we moved in, we decided to do the yard. I found Alan with Bay Maples and I liked his ideas. I'd say mainly because that one gets probably a little bit more sun. Yes. And one thing Julie was a great around. client to work for and allowed us a lot of creative freedom to kind of come up with some solutions that would work well with her garden and her kids. The process of transforming the yard, it actually took place fairly quickly. I really think about a month. We looked forward to the trucks dumping off the rocks. That was exciting for us. Currently, we have a crew of about six people, and usually with our maintenance, we specialize in using no gas power tools. We don't use any chemicals or pesticides. That's what makes projects fun, is working with a fun, innovative group of people. Say your typical drought tolerant, low water use garden, I would say is gonna be at least 60 to 80% less water usage than your typical ornamental garden. So I've been working with Valley Water District. I did a few of their water rebate programs. Here at Valley Water, we recognize that water conservation is a huge component of our water supply. We have 10 surface water reservoirs and dams, and we also have three water treatment plants. Through Santa Clara County, we also import water from the state water project. But what's interesting is that the aquifer beneath our feet holds more water than all of our surface water reservoirs combined. And so ensuring that we have sufficient water in that aquifer is one of the core missions to our constituents. We consider conservation a way of life. We are reaching out with our rebate programs to help educate and encourage people to conserve water. Our programs are not aimed at just reducing water during drought times. It's actually for all the times, whether we're in drought or out of drought. We use about half of our water in landscaping. So when we emphasize conservation, promoting native plant populations, low water use plants in general can have a really profound positive impact on our water supply. We're able to have a very unique layout with the native plants. There's the misconception that you need to have a lawn for the kids and dogs to play on. Gardens can still be inviting still be beautiful and without the water intensity and chemical use of a typical backyard lawn. Uh, every now and then a customer will call and ask if I can help them refresh the lawn or fix up their lawn or redo the irrigation for the lawn and I usually tell them I don't even have a lawnmower or have necessarily the tools to do a lawn installation. Great way to hide the fact that I don't like to install lawns. <laughs> The way Bay Maples incorporates innovative landscaping techniques is through our use of gray water and rainwater systems to help people to capture the runoff from their roofs, to be able to capture, filter, and pump that into their landscape irrigation. The thing that Bay Maples does that I love is they specialize in many ways to maximize your water use. So this year I'm so excited for the rain tanks. We have, I think, up to 3,000 gallon capacity of capturing it. The larger ones will hold the water for the backyard and it should last a good chunk of the summer, if not all of the summer. And then over here we have our smaller one and this is gonna be the emergency water if there's an earthquake. We have a filter and a way to, but just for emergencies. And then if we don't need to use it, then we can send it out to the yard and water those plants. And the idea is during the rain, we'll capture that, and then in the summer, we will irrigate using the rain that we've already captured, so that will reduce our water footprint even more. And yeah, there's a tap, so we can get it out and fill it up there. They now have a reimbursement for rain tanks. At the beginning of this year, we added a rainwater capture component to our rebate program. This includes rain gardens, and so that's capturing water and letting it seep down into our groundwater supply. And then it also includes rainwater capture that can be used actually as supplemental irrigation. 
Alan set me up about five years ago with Laundry to Landscape. This is where our Laundry to Landscape comes out of the house and then it goes underground to the back of the house to water the bamboo. The Laundry to Landscape system captures the wastewater from a laundry machine, which then gets pumped into the backyard. Every time I do laundry, the bamboo gets watered. The Santa Clara Valley Water District provides a rebate as well as resources to help you install a gray water laundry landscape system. We have a few videos on our website. I actually walked through a system at my colleague Ashley's house. She's had a gray water system uh, that redirects her clothes washer rinse water into her yard. And it allows you to direct your rinse water from your clothes washer's washer line out into your landscape. Straight or slightly The system has been great. I mean, I really don't have to think about it too much. I just make sure that I'm using soaps that are okay. And the water is moved through the system using the clothes washer's pump and gravity. I think my children benefit from the yard being natural and seeing the time and effort we went into planning it. If you raise them from the start to be green, then they don't feel like they're sacrificing later when they grow up. We were able to utilize a lot of repurposed redwood logs into a fun garden for the kids. My kids would be wild child of the woods if they could. The play yard is it's fun. <laughs> they will play tag, they have rules. It's got lots of logs to run around on. There are bamboo poles they use to construct things. We had to ban stick fighting because that got a little aggressive. It's good to reuse things because you don't waste them. The outcome is great, it, but it's a work in progress. Gardens grow. They have flowers and blossoms and will have fruit, and I'm very excited. I'm very much looking forward to it. It's actually been really exciting to see how many counties and water districts around the state or even around the country are embracing rebate programs to incentivize people to do this. If you live outside of Santa Clara County, most water companies or water wholesalers provide some type of rebate program. So check your water bill, do queries online. We really want to empower people to make changes for themselves that will make their landscapes more resilient to climate change, which will benefit their community at large. One of the ways I encourage people to get rid of their lawn is view it from the aspect of it being a missed opportunity. It's a great opportunity to demonstrate your style, your artistic um, sensibilities, and really use that a way to kind of show people what you're about. And that's always encouraging to see people embrace it in the neighborhood and their community.